your pH level has, you have several of them around your body and particularly with your digestive system, you have two primary ones, one for the upper digestion, one for the lower. And if those are out of sync, then we can run out of, into some health problems that aren't too comfortable. So we all are familiar with acid and alkaline levels of pH level. And most of the beverages, the enhanced waters and all those kind of things try to make us more alkaline. And that's not always a good thing. There's this whole theory of being more alkaline as being healthier. That's not necessarily true. You actually want to be a little acidic, but you don't want to be so acidic that other things happen. So let's talk about the two extremes here. So regardless of if you're very alkaline or very acidic, there's a couple of things that can happen. Number one is, let's talk about acidic. Usually you find this when we are dehydrated and we don't realize how dehydrated we are. Um, what happens is that you still eliminate every few hours, but you're likely having constipation. You likely have a lot of discomfort in the digestive system, particularly the lower one because your colon is struggling to get rid of things. And when that happens, your body starts to look for liquid elsewhere in your body. So it takes it from your joints, from your blood, anywhere you got something extra floating around, it tries to take and get things moving the way they should. So this is why we can have discomfort, um, particularly constipation. We can feel low energy and fatigue, stress really gets to us a lot more in these situations and it just kind of snowballs, right? You see how that happens? Okay, let's take the other one. When you're highly alkaline, similar things can happen, but we start to see more IBS type situations. We start to see um, same thing with stress, but the kind of the opposite where we're just so hyper and nervous and restless and we don't sit still and we don't sleep at night. So it too has its own kind of bundle of snowball effect things that can happen, right? And there's different, not only just physical aspects, but behaviorally and emotionally that these two extremes can impact us. And it all works together in our pH levels, our digestive system. So this is why having a balanced pH digestive system is so, so important. Because if we don't, then we just end up on either one of these extremes and neither one of them really feels good or represents us in a true balanced, healthy way. So this is one of the things that I help clients with a lot because they don't even realize how pH is affecting them emotionally, how pH is impacting how they respond to stress, how it impacts their sleep, and certainly how often they are eliminating not only urine, but feces as well. Because if those things aren't working right, then other things aren't working right either. So this is what I help you do. This is a really foundational thing in natural health that we just don't pay enough attention to, but can really lead our, our path to better healing, feeling our better self and introducing other things that we want to accomplish in our health, such as losing weight, not having so much inflammation, not being grumpy and upset all the time, not letting stress get to us, you know, all those things. Yeah. Well, until we get the foundational things set right, it makes it a whole lot harder to work on those other things. To work with me on balancing your pH or any other health needs you have, I do have openings for new clients. You can set up time with me in a holistic health consultation at dragonspitapothecary.com.